blessing of the Lord, the, the blessing of fruitfulness, the blessing of multiplication, the blessing of subduing the earth, and eventual dominion over the earth. I want you to know that everything that works is connected. Everything that works is connected. It's either connected to the ground or connected to a power source or connected to a charging point. Even this microphone I'm holding, it seems like it's not connected. But there is a power set inside it called batteries. Those batteries power the microphone. And there is an invisible connection this microphone has to the amplifier. Because of that connection, that's why I'm able to speak through this instrument. And it's amplifying my voice. And so when God was everything on the earth, he created things from a particular source and maintained them that source for instance he created a fish out of the sea and maintained them in the sea he created the stars in the skies and maintained them in the skies he created you know animals on the earth and maintained them on the earth birds are in the skies he maintained them in the skies but when he was going to create you and me he turned to himself he said let us create man in our own image which means god created us from himself Yes, he formed the flesh from the ground, but the spirit man was created from God. So for man to function properly, like this microphone is functioning because of his connection, man has to remain connected to God. Once you disconnect yourself from God, you begin to function. It becomes difficult for you to fulfill the full intent of God's purpose for that creation. And that's why it's important for you to know that what is going our world today is a, a, a is, is a departure from the plan and intent of heaven you see mankind trying to legalize reality you see mankind trying to you know to depart from the use the natural use of a man and a woman to a man and a, man, a woman and a woman and even God are into perversion men and animals you see mankind becoming wicked from day to day you see insecure forms of evil prevailing in our society this is because of man's disconnection man is trying to disconnect from his maker from his creator from his god and we can see a lot of things going down from god's original plan i bring good news to you this morning there was a time god sent philip to the city of samaria philip brought the word of samaria the time philip was true in samaria the Bible says there was great joy in that city. Many times people wonder, they say what we have in the church is okay. We can just continue like this till Jesus comes. But I dare to disagree. What we have may be good, but it is not the best that God has in store for us. God has more in store for us. God wants your life to be revived. Your home to be revived. Your altar to be revived. And even our entire society. Somebody says, can that ever happen again? I'm sure you watch the playlet from the youth talking about a young man who has lost hope in God. Who thinks all that God wants to do is just to use you and dump you. God is not a use and dump God. God has a plan for you and I. It's when we don't follow that plan. It begins to look like we are not enjoying the fullness of what God has in store. This morning we are considering a very, very serious topic. The topic on dominion. And if you look at that scripture we read, it says God made man and it says they should have dominion. The first thing it says we should have dominion over. Let's consider it critically. Over the fish of the sea. When you look at the expression fish of the sea, you may be tempted to think they are talking about just tilapia. And they are talking about just shark. And they are talking about just mackerel. But the word fish, the phrase fish of the sea is an expression that signifies something bigger than that. If you study the scriptures well, you will realize that the fish of the sea there is an expression referring to wealth. In Isaiah 60 verse 5, the Bible says the abundance of the sea shall be converted to you. The abundance of the sea shall be converted to you. Look at it. It says the abundance of the sea shall be converted to you. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. God actually desires you and I to have dominion over wealth. If you type abundance of the sea on encyclopedia, you will see that from the sea alone, the sea alone generates wealth 
as much as 24 trillion dollars. 24 trillion dollars. On an annual basis, the sea generates 2.5 trillion dollars worth of wealth. That is 1.5 quadrillion naira from the sea on an annual basis. So when the Bible says, have dominion over the fish of the sea, it was not just mackerels and, and tilapia. It is actually dominion in the area of wealth, in the area of finance, in the area of resources. And this is all around scripture. It's not just in the scriptures I've read. What about Deuteronomy 33, 19? Deuteronomy 33, 19. Deuteronomy 33, 19. This is, is, so it's actually referring to the wealth in hidden places. The treasures of darkness. God wants you and I to have dominion in that area. And then he now says, over the fowl of the air, or the birds of the air. When you hear the word birds of the air, you immediately think about eagle. You think about orc. You think about this bird. It's part of it. But it's beyond that. When you hear the word fowl or birds of the air, it is speaking about something beyond that. It is speaking about media. Media. Dominion in the area of media. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 10 verse 20, it says, don't curse the king even in your bedchamber because the fowl of the air shall tell it. The fowl of the air shall do what? Shall tell it. Ezekiel 39 17 also speaks about Speaking things to the birds of the air. Media receives information and gives information. And you know, I'm excited. I'm in the National Nigerian Air Force. We deal with the air. One of the ways to excel in Air Force is to have information. Once you are a step ahead of your enemy, you are able to defeat your enemy. So information is one of the things we thrive by in the Air Force. When you have access to media, to intel, to information, you'll be able to always conquer the adversary. Hallelujah. So God is saying, have dominion, wealth, have dominion over the airspace. Sometimes when somebody is coming to broadcast, they will say they are coming on air. They are coming where? On air. They will say, wing our words. Wing our words. Which means, let us be carried on the wings and be taken to places. It's media. It's media. God is saying we should have dominion over media. Media is turning the minds of youth against God. Media is turning the minds of civilization against God. Media is, is make believe. They make you believe whatever they believe. Even if it's contrary to the will of God. But God is asking you and I to arise to and take dominion over the media space by seeking God and downloading from heaven wisdom downloading from heaven power to be able to go into that space and influence things in the direction of God's will can somebody say amen, amen. dominion over every creeping thing when you hear the word creeping what comes to your mind is a negative circumstance or something with a negative characteristic that is imperceptible that wants to look on you so whatever spirits are ravaging the earth that are molesting the minds of people that are molesting the marriages of people that are molesting relationships that are corrupting civilization corrupting government offices god is telling us apart from wealth apart from the airspace the media god also says have dominion over everything every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth not another man not another woman but take charge in your territory influence things for the kingdom influence it in the direction of god's will but for you to be able to stand as such a witness of the kingdom your life has to be correct your life has to be correct you can't claim to bring dominion into a territory when you are dominated by sin when you are dominated by flesh. When you are dominated by addiction. The glory of the youth is in their strength. But that is the very strength the devil is seeking to use and take. And take advantage of the strength to cause damage. When you hear riots, 
is youth when you hear widespread immorality is youths that are there when you hear destruction is youths that are there but they've been informed wrongly by the media whether from a human being or from a media broadcasting station informally so that once their mind is towards god they begin to cause destruction they begin to lead a life that is displeasing to god but i want you to know that saviors shall arise from zion and those saviors are here if you are one of those saviors can you shout amen <laughs>